After years of public concern, soft plastics are still a major threat to the environment, and according to the National Plastics Plan, 84% of these recyclable polymers end up in landfill due to contamination issues. Initiatives from the DIY community like Precious Plastics by Dave Hackens have inspired many people around the world to start small recycling facilities using open source machines and working as a global collective. Recycling mainly deals with hard plastics though. Soft plastics can be problematic for the machinery and they are not accepted in the municipal recycling bin. Tom Saki from TerraCycle stated that upcycling is a powerful tool to repurpose plastic waste because it doesn't require complex machinery or destroys the material to make something new. For a few years, I've been using an iron and baking paper to upcycle large, colored and relatively clean HDPE and LDPE soft plastics using a process that involves using several layers of plastic bags into a single thicker fabric that is lightweight, water resistant and it can be sewn into a variety of products. The material can be decorated in many ways by using stencils to create symmetrical patterns or abstract compositions of the same types of films and even the mere reaction to heat of some HTP films that disintegrate and leave an intricate print. This is a great way to repurpose waste materials, however it does not explore the molding capabilities of polyethylene materials that can go beyond making flat sheets. This year's developments focus on methods on which the material can be shaped and texturized using techniques like compression molding, where I developed a device that was useful to compress molten plastics using molds to create potential components for my product range or embossing where 3mm MDF sheets were laser cut using vector patterns to produce a stamp where plastics can be ironed and pressed over to transfer the pattern onto the sheets while it is hot. And vacuum forming determined that it can be useful to shape LDPE plastic bags into complex 3D shapes that can be too difficult or impossible to achieve with sewing. With the help of these developments, the craft of ironing plastic sheets becomes a practice on its own that has unlimited creative opportunities that benefit from the technical properties of the materials. All of these techniques can be developed using DIY tools and household equipment by most people. Similar to Hackens, my aim is to share these upcycling methods and developments to get more people involved in diverting soap plastic waste from landfill to contribute to the current industrial recycling efforts.